Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFC wildcard matchup preview between the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now let's look at the Packers and let's start with that offense. You have to get a minimum of 25 carries from all your backs. You think back to week one where you guys had some success against the Eagles, running the football was key. And you look at Grant had a big day before he got injured. Uh, Jackson came in and made some big plays in the run game. Minimum 25 carries, guys. That should be the key number in this battle in order for you to keep the Eagles offense off the field. And you also want to keep downward pressure on that Eagles secondary. Yes, you guys can spread a team out vertically and you can widen out that pressure, but you want to keep the pressure down, down the field. Keep these Eagles secondary players covering all targets in the passing game and that should give you guys some success and Rodgers feet should be a key because he's a guy that can get out the pocket make plays he just has to slide this time otherwise if he gets knocked out you can forget about it the Eagles will turn up that pressure and force the issue in the passing game now defensively for the Packers coming in you want to keep the door closed you don't want to allow Michael Vick an opening as far as like in your protection and your, in your uh, aggressiveness as far as getting to the quarterback if you leave the back door open guess what Vick will scoot through and score touchdowns and get long gains and keep drives alive now you want to force Michael Vick to his right that goes without say he's a left-handed quarterback force him to go right and you should have some success getting him off the field and less man coverage more cover to keep everything in front of you. you guys do a great job of zone blitzing and also keeping everything in front of you because if your cornerbacks turn their backs guess what Vick is running right behind you and it's a big game so you have to make sure you keep everything in front of you and allow the pressure to come from your defensive line and your linebackers in this matchup more cover to less man coverage in this game now for the Eagles offensively, you want to keep Matthew, Clay Matthews busy. Keep him busy. Put, make him cover somebody. Make him cover a back, a tight end. Make, run to his side. Make him a run defender. Keep him busy. Keep him on the move. Don't just allow him to be a pass rusher. Take his biggest strength and make it his biggest weakness. Now you also look at the fact that offensively you want to loosen up that pressure with the run. Don't forget LaShawn McCoy back there is an outstanding tailback in the backfield. So get him involved early. Neutralize that pressure by running right at it. Get physical at the line of scrimmage against this Packers front and get Vic on the move early. A lot of bootlegs, a lot of waggles, a lot of screen passes. Get him on the move. That way they can't key on where he's going to be in the pocket and turn up that pressure defensively coming in defensive pressure up the middle will get Rodgers going because if Rodgers going left to right yes he's an accurate passer but it also shifts coverage to that side and the Eagles have some athleticism in the secondary to make interceptions so you want to get Rodgers on the move so it all starts by getting that a gap pressure up the middle of that offensive line of the Packers and Joselio Hansen has to make sure he steps up and play consistent throughout the game they're going to target him in a passing game so he has to play consistent he has to get his head around because there will be some opportunities to make interceptions or tip some pass if he gets his head into the game and the linebackers and pass coverage has to be key because you have to take away the middle of the field if you allow Green Bay to control the middle of the field it can be a long day for your defense so the linebackers Ernie Sims and company have to step up and make plays in the passing game now let's look at some positional breakdown matchups this week and let's start with the quarterback position I think this is a push both teams have outstanding quarterbacks that can make plays on a run they can throw the football real well their threats throughout the game and they have the flair of the comeback so both quarterbacks have the advantage now running back situation I have to go with the Eagles the Eagles have the best running back right now and LaShawn McCoy the Packers have a non-existent running game and that's going to prove to be detrimental if they can't get that going wide receiver battles you have to go with the Green Bay Packers one to five they can stretch you guys out some depth that tight end as well too Green Bay Packers get the nod at the wide receiver position although the Eagles have some talented playmakers offensive line I have to go with the Philadelphia Eagles they don't get they can protect up front they can also run block Green Bay does have some mental lapses in the protection schemes so that could be a problem in this game now defensive line you have to go with the Packers they can get pressure from their front three BJ Rogers playing lights out right now second year player linebacker I have to side with the Green Bay Packers a lot of speed and athleticism that can get to the quarterback to play the run on the way to the quarterback very talented group out there secondary you have to go with the Green Bay Packers Charles Wilson is a guy that can also play defensive end and linebacker so you have to go with the Charles Wilson and the, the rest of that Packers secondary in this game special teams I think is a push both guys have some outstanding uh, coverage units but you have to give the edge to the Eagles in the return game because of Deshaun Jackson and his ability to take in the distance now the X-Factor in this game you look at the Green Bay Packers X-Factor 
James Starks, the running back. Very impressive. I liked him coming out of college. Get this guy more carries because if you can run the football, you could have some success against the Eagles. And Vic Slays is the X Factor in any game. And that's why I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. A lot of people think Green Bay is going to come in and win this game with the passing game. But I think the Eagles defense is fast enough to cause problems and stay active against the pass like the Falcons did against Green Bay. So look for the Eagles to come in and play inspired. Vic is going to keep plays alive with his legs. I think Andy Reid is going to take some of that pressure off Vic and allow McCoy to get some balance going on in the offense. And that's going to prove to be detrimental because the Green Bay Packers will tire out toward the end of the game. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.